In mathematics and computer science, connectivity is one of the basic concepts of graph theory. It asks for the minimum number of elements that need to be removed to disconnect the remaining nodes from each other. It is closely related to the theory of network flow problems. The connectivity of a graph is an important measure of its robustness as a network. Connected graph. A graph is connected when there is a path between every pair of vertices. In a connected graph there are no unreachable vertices. A graph that is not connected is disconnected. A graph with just one vertex is connected. An edgeless graph with two or more vertices is disconnected. Definitions of components, cuts and connectivity. In an undirected graph G, two vertices U and V are called connected if G contains a path from U to V. Otherwise, they are called disconnected. If the two vertices are additionally connected by a path of length 1, i.e., by a single edge, the vertices are called adjacent. A graph is said to be connected if every pair of vertices in the graph is connected. A connected component is a maximal connected subgraph of G. Each vertex belongs to exactly one connected component, as does each edge. A directed graph is called weakly connected if replacing all of its directed edges with undirected edges produces a connected graph. It is connected if it contains a directed path from U to V or a directed path from V to U for every pair of vertices U. It is strongly connected or strong if it contains a directed path from U to V and a directed path from V to U for every pair of vertices U. The strong components are the maximal strongly connected subgraphs. A cut, vertex cut, or separating set of a connected graph G is a set of vertices whose removal renders G disconnected. The connectivity or vertex connectivity kappa is the size of a minimal vertex cut. A graph is called K-connected or K-vertex connected if its vertex connectivity is K or greater. More precisely, any graph G is said to be K-connected if it contains at least K plus 1 vertices but does not contain a set of k-1 vertices whose removal disconnects the graph and kappa is defined as the largest k such that g is k-connected. In particular, a complete graph with n vertices, denoted knots, has no vertex cuts at all, but kappa equals n-1. A vertex cut for two vertices u and v is a set of vertices whose removal from the graph disconnects u and v. The local connectivity, kappa is the size of a smallest vertex cut separating U and V. Local connectivity is symmetric for undirected graphs, that is, kappa equals kappa. Moreover, except for complete graphs, kappa equals the minimum of kappa over all non-adjacent pairs of vertices U. 2 connectivity is also called biconnectivity and 3 connectivity is also called triconnectivity. A graph G which is connected but not too connected is sometimes called separable. Analogous concepts can be defined for edges. In the simple case in which cutting a single, specific edge would disconnect the graph, that edge is called a bridge. More generally, the edge cut of G is a group of edges whose total removal renders the graph disconnected. The edge connectivity lambda is the size of a smallest edge cut, and the local edge connectivity lambda of two vertices U. V is the size of a smallest edge cut disconnecting U from V. Again, local edge connectivity is symmetric. A graph is called K edge connected if its edge connectivity is K or greater. Menger's theorem. One of the most important facts about connectivity in graphs is Menger's theorem, which characterizes the connectivity and edge connectivity of a graph in terms of the number of independent paths between vertices. If U and V are vertices of a graph G, then a collection of paths between U and V is called independent if no two of them share a vertex. Similarly, the collection is edge-independent if no two paths in it share an edge. 
the number of mutually independent paths between U and V is written as kappa, and the number of mutually edge-independent paths between U and V is written as lambda. Menger's theorem asserts that for distinct vertices U, V, lambda equals lambda, and if U is also not adjacent to V then kappa equals kappa. This fact is actually a special case of the max flow min cut theorem. Computational aspects the problem of determining whether two vertices in a graph are connected can be solved efficiently using a search algorithm, such as breadth-first search. More generally, it is easy to determine computationally whether a graph is connected, or to count the number of connected components. A simple algorithm might be written in pseudocode as follows. Begin at any arbitrary node of the graph. Proceed from that node using either depth-first or breadth-first search, counting all nodes reached. Once the graph has been entirely traversed, if the number of nodes counted is equal to the number of nodes of G, the graph is connected, otherwise it is disconnected. By Menger's theorem, for any two vertices U and V in a connected graph G, the numbers kappa and lambda can be determined efficiently using the max flow min cut algorithm. The connectivity and edge connectivity of G can then be computed as the minimum values of kappa and lambda, respectively. In computational complexity theory, SL is the class of problems log space reducible to the problem of determining whether two vertices in a graph are connected, which was proved to be equal to L by Ohm of Ryan Gold in 2004. Hence, undirected graph connectivity may be solved in O space. The problem of computing the probability that a Bernoulli random graph is connected is called network reliability and the problem of computing whether two given vertices are connected the same reliability problem. Both of these are hash p dash hard. Number of connected graphs The number of distinct connected labeled graphs with n nodes is tabulated in the online encyclopedia of integer sequences as sequence A001187 through n equals 15. The first few non-trivial terms are examples. The vertex and edge connectivities of a disconnected graph are both zero. One connectedness is equivalent to connectedness for graphs of at least two vertices. The complete graph on n vertices has edge connectivity equal to n minus 1. Every other simple graph on n vertices has strictly smaller edge connectivity. In a tree, the local edge connectivity between every pair of vertices is 1. Bounds on connectivity. The vertex connectivity of a graph is less than or equal to its edge connectivity. That is, kappa lambda. Both are less than or equal to the minimum degree of the graph. Since deleting all neighbors of a vertex of minimum degree will disconnect that vertex from the rest of the graph. For a vertex transitive graph of degree d, we have 2 thirds kappa lambda equals d. For a vertex transitive graph of degree d4, or for any minimal Cayley graph of degree d, or for any symmetric graph of degree d, both kinds of connectivity are equal. Kappa equals lambda equals d. Other properties. Connectedness is preserved by graph homomorphisms. If G is connected then its line graph L is also connected. A graph G is two-edge connected if and only if it has an orientation that is strongly connected. Balinski's theorem states that the polytopal graph of AK dimensional convex polytope is AK vertex connected graph. Steinitz's previous theorem that any three vertex connected planar graph is a polytopal graph gives a partial converse. According to a theorem of G, A, Dirac, if a graph is K-connected for K2, then for every set of K vertices in the graph there is a cycle that passes through all the vertices in the set. The converse is true when K equals 2.